Hi everyone, I'm Kate Wu. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how to paint these fruit trees and these are cherries. Let's get started. So in this painting, we'll be using these core colors, the red, orange, and yellow. Get some waters. Wet your paint. These are traditional Chinese color blocks and not the tube form. So this is how you start to prepare it. And of course, we're gonna use ink. I'm gonna start painting a hero bird sitting on the foreground of the tree. You may also paint the tree branch first and leave a blank space for it. Either way is fine, it's really up to you. The brown color is a mix of orange and ink. I tend to use darker color for the hat back wings and the beak and a nice shades of yellow, orange and red gradient for the chest. The leaves of fruit treats are very similar. I'm going to paint with a large brush and then I'm going to switch to a small brush for the tree branches. If you're comfortable using the large brush, you can continue to use the large brush to paint uh, small branches. I've seen some artists paint from the tip of the branches to go to the start but I always paint from where the branches are supposed to grow to the tip because as you paint, the color at the tip of your brush will be diluted with the water contained in the brush belly. It is more natural to have the darker shades from the bottom to the top than the other way around, that's what I think. Now I'm adding a few stems and some cherries. Cherry trees are not native to China, so I've never seen any traditional Chinese paintings featuring cherry trees. This is also my first attempt to paint this subject on trees. I will try to paint some other composition and presentation in some other videos. So please subscribe if you're new to my channel and press the bell notification button so that you don't miss out the next new updates. I'm adding some leaf veins to enhance the look of the leaves. I'm adding another board looking the other way, so it is um, sitting in a different post. The belly is the same gradient as the other one, yellow, orange, and red color. And the wings and hats are in just black ink, and so is the beep, the feet, and the eyes. To complete the composition of this painting, I'm going to add a large branch using a large brush. I took a bit of ink, tilted my brush to paint a light shade of gray. I also use the same brush to touch up some details and these dots are called dotting moss and um, I'm going to add a little bit of uh, small branches here. Of course, you may switch to a smaller brush like what I'm doing for a better control. This is what the other bird is looking at. Three style Chinese painting is about making an impression. We don't have to paint every single element in a picture, leaving some rooms for the audience's imagination. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time.